Generally, in property law, a grantor who conveys property by deed to another, based on fraud, conveys either void or voidable title. Void title is no title at all and conveys nothing, whereas voidable title is good in the hands of the grantee until the grantor sues to have it set aside. But what if a bona fide purchaser for value purchases property from a grantee who has void title? May the original grantor sue to void the subsequent conveyance when he or she discovers the fraud? The South Dakota Supreme Court addressed this question in Hawk v. Crawford. Hawk was a farmer with an eighth-grade education who owned a large farm in South Dakota. On May 23, 1951, Hawk was visiting a neighbor when three men, including Crawford, approached him to discuss leasing his land for oil and gas operations. Following discussions, Crawford offered Hawk 25 cents per acre for a lease. In response, Hawk agreed to lease the property, and one of the men prepared the paperwork. The man who typed up the documents told Hawk where to sign. After Hawk signed the first sheet, the man flipped over to a second sheet and asked Hawk to sign it. The man told Hawk that the second sheet was part of the lease, which Hawk believed. However, the second sheet was actually a mineral lease in which Hawk transferred one half of the minerals in his land to Crawford. Six days later, Crawford conveyed the mineral rights in Hawk's land to White and Duncan. The deed was later recorded on June 1, 1952. Subsequently, Hawk brought a quiet title action in state circuit court to cancel the mineral deed and other deeds that transferred his mineral rights to Crawford, White, and Duncan. The trial court found for Hawk and canceled the deeds concluding that the manner in which Hawk's signature was obtained constituted a forgery. In addition, the court found that White and Duncan were bona fide purchasers for value, without making a finding regarding their knowledge of Crawford's fraud. Crawford, White, and Duncan appealed to the South Dakota Supreme Court. 